In this tutorial we'll be creating this chromatic, glow, glitchy type of effect to reveal any text or logos. Let's get right into it. So we'll start off by creating our text and I'll position my anchor point in the middle by holding down Ctrl Alt Home and then Ctrl Home to center it in my composition. Next I'll create a solid and we'll call this fractal and I'll add a fractal noise to this. We'll change the noise type to block and I'll down my complexity to about 1 open up the transform and unselect uniform scaling and we'll create something similar to these lines here don't want to go too crazy all right and let's start bringing down the brightness and upping the contrast so basically with this fractal noise we'll be creating the sort of glitch effect to reveal the actual text before the chromatic glow i'll actually put my complexity up to two here and let's put the brightness all the way down and set a keyframe for it Move a few frames forward here and we'll set it to fully white. And I'm also going to set a keyframe for my evolution here. Go to the end of my composition and set it to about 2. This will be for later. So this is what we've got right now. And we'll go ahead and hide this. Now on our text layer, we'll simply go into the mats here and make it a luma mat to this layer. So basically it reveals it like so. If you do have an older After Effects version, this might look different for you. So you basically just luma mat it to this fractal noise solid we created. Next, I'll select my text layer and I'll add an effect called Displacement Map. Now here, I'll select the Displacement layer to be my fractal noise and make sure you select Effects and Masks. Now this is a pretty common glitch effect method without using any plugins. So the thing you want to do here is increase the horizontal displacement. So let's set this to about... 45, the vertical one can stay at 5, and as you can see it sort of off-centered our text, so in order to fix this we're gonna duplicate this effect, so we'll set the same values but in negative, so minus 45 and minus 5. So now if we play this back you can see our text is centered and the effect is happening on top of it. Now another thing I like to add is a bit of a position once the text is revealed, so I'll hit position, set a keyframe here and just make a short movement like this hit F9 and we'll go into the graph, create something like this. And this just adds a bit of motion to the reveal. Maybe go back here a bit. All right, so we can go ahead and start creating the actual chromatic glow. Let's pre-compose these two and select all attributes. We'll name this text and duplicate it and we'll call this glow. Now I'll hide this main layer for now. And the first effect I'm gonna add is a gradient. And you want to set the colors to something like red and the other one is going to be blue, sort of like an RGB split effect. This is completely up to you. And we'll just position it on the sides here like so. Now the next effect is going to be directional blur to actually stretch the text out. And we'll set the blur length to about 500. And as you can see, it's going vertical. So we'll change the direction to 90. And this gives us this sort of stretching glow. Next, I'm going to add some noise, and this is optional, but it does add a lot to the effect. So if we set the noise to about 20, you can see we're getting this nice noisy detail, which adds to the effect. And of course, we can add some glow. Now, I will be using deep glow, but of course, you can use the default one to achieve a similar look. I'll just go ahead and decrease this here. And there's also an effect called Quick Chromatic Aberration. Now, this is a plugin, but it is free from the same guys who created deep glow. So I do recommend getting it since it is free. And if we set the position here to about 15, you can see we're getting these nice RGB split effects. Actually, maybe set it to about 10. And I'll just go ahead and set a keyframe for my blur length on my directional blur. So once the text is done revealing, we can maybe scale it down to about 300. And I'll also set a keyframe for my opacity here. So it goes down to about 30 maybe even 50, just to have some more of the effect here. And I'll just select them, hit F9, and set the layer to additive. Now if we play this back, okay, we get this nice chromatic reveal with the glowing elements. Now another thing I've added is a bit of a glitch once the text is finally revealed. And this is optional, but if you do wanna add some more little details, you'll simply go into the fractal noise we've created, and we'll set a keyframe for the brightness, and let's just bring it down a bit here until we see some, okay, there we go. You'll just create these small glitches and we'll copy this keyframe here. And it's just gonna be like a 
small bump, we can copy paste these keyframes here and have a few of these. This is why we've animated the evolution. So this glitch would be different from this one and so on. So yeah, this is how you create this chromatic glow glitch type of reveal. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.